work of the soul, the creation of the soul of the man, which manifests itself in a physical, tangible condition, can only happen if the condition and the environment for it is available to happen. What I said in the teaching of last week was that the universe cannot expand if the room for expansion was not there for it. The expansion contains two things, magnetical and gravitational field forces that allows creation of the balance field in both sides. What this means is, a plasma has to give to his environment and take from his environment to find a balance between itself and its environment. The creation of the confirmation of the existence comes when the two entities confirm their existence through the interaction of their fields. We cannot see the existence, cannot feel the presence of the Sun, if the gravitational magnetic fields of the Earth does not interact with the fields of it. And then in that process, each one manifests its own existence and its dimension. So, in so many ways, the interaction of the fields of two entity confirm not only the existence of the two, but the boundary and the physical presence and manifestation of it. In English we say, it needs two to tango. It needs to have a partner to show the beauty of the dance. It's the same in so many ways, now that our knowledge has come to flourish and understand more about the structure of the soul, to expand more, to understand more, and to realize the reality of the creation in any point in the universe. What we achieve on this planet to confirm our existence in a physical dimension of human body, needs the presence of the soul of the Earth, which are the fields interaction of the Earth, with the soul of the man, that with it, confirms the physicality of the man. Our physical body is created on the limitation of the dimensions of the strength of the soul, which sees in the womb of the mother, in respect to Earth, gravitational magnetic fields, and plus the soul of the physical entity, which has created the soul of the man. You've got to realize, every piece, every atom, every cell, in the sperm, and in the seed of the male and female, as a soul. So the collective soul of these entities, these amino acids in proteins, leads to the creation of the soul of the being. And then that soul in its interaction in totality with the soul of the Earth, dictates the physical balance between all the entities, which leads to the creation of the physicality of the man. Collectively, the soul of the man, in radiating in the fields, in the womb of the mother, in the presence of the fields, gravitational magnetic field, of the field of the matters within the womb of the mother, which could, in a way, creates an environment for the soul of the child to take shape, now in interaction with the soul of the planet, leads to the creation of the physicality of the child. This is the same with every entity, being a plant, being a bird, being a fish. But, 
in this process, the emotion and the conformation of the guarantee to exist, which becomes the physical dimension, the soul of the entity, in respect to the soul of the totality and the soul of planet, brings into play the color, the shape, the size, and everything else. So, our emotion from the establishment of the interaction of the two fields, dictates, has a communication line between understanding the soul of the planet and the soul of the physicality. The reality is, that when we travel into deep space, we have to understand this. That the interaction between the, the strength of the soul of the man, and the dimension of his physicality as a soul, with the environment which enters, dictates the same, the shape of the man, or the shape of the soul, in a physical dimension in the universe. We will not see physicality to the man, but we shall see the physicality conformation once we reach the dimension where we decide to interact with it. Rick, can we share your screen and your table, please? This is important for us to understand. Can you open it up? We see you as a corner. Thank you very much. What this means, is in so many ways, if we take the bigger magnet, as the soul of the planet, and then we take the soul of the man, as the second magnet, which is the black one, then you see they create a conformation of position in respect to each other. And in that point, we come to one thing, the interaction of the two, has to have a physicality, which that physicality, can be shown, in the shape of, a very small entity, which is the physicality of the man. The soul of the man, can we have your third ring please, in the middle? If you see what this does, the, a small ring, which is the physicality of the man, finds its balance, in position, in respect, to the two souls of the planet. And, when it reaches a balance point, this is where, we manifest ourselves, in the dimension of physicality. If we change, the bigger ring, which is the soul of the planet, or the environment we enter, which in fact is gravitational field balance, between itself and internal, the shape, and the position, and the distance from the soul of the man, and the physicality, which is a small ring in between, will change. Because now, it has a different size. If you replace the bigger one, with a smaller, with another magnet, you will see the balance point changes. And this is how, our soul will stay the same, once we change the environmental magnetic fields, the position, the distance between the physical dimension, and the soul of the man, will take a new shape, new distance. This goes back to all the teaching we done before. Just replace it, replace the big one. You can see it very clearly. So, what we have to understand, the soul of the man will not change. The environmental, gravitational, magnetic field, which we appear, will dictate, how we will look, and the shape, and the distance. This is what I said in the teaching, in the past. On Earth, we need two arms and two legs, because the boundary of the physicality, dictated by the soul of the environment which we are, which is the Earth. If we move the other, the position changes. If the gravitational moves out, or magnetical moves in, in different dimension, you see the middle magnet, which is the physicality of the man, moves with it. If you pull that magnet a little bit backwards, the small one, 
No, no, that one here. Just push it forward, bring it forward and push it back. This is what it dictates. This is how we change shape in size and time. This is how, if you look when the field was further, stop there please. This is where the gravitational magnetic field of the Earth in balance with the Sun allowed bigger animals, dinosaurs and other entities. Now the gravitational field of the Sun, because we are getting closer and closer to it, is changing the size we cannot support. Because now a bigger gravitational magnetic field, which is the Sun, has the same, the same structure. And now you see, if we reduce the field, the soul is stronger, needs the bigger distance to confirm its existence, so you get a different shape and size. Now we understand the knowledge fully, we can show it in the physical dimension, that can be understood. But in fact, the soul of the man does not change. If we understand this point, we'll come to a very interesting position, that it's us who decides how and what fields we release from our soul, that even in the new position, we still carry the shape of the man. Even though, in respect to the other environment, if we stay in balance, we can see a new entity. This is an important understanding, because if I put another soul, which is created on Earth, then when you see another soul from Earth, he sees the figure of a man, he does not see the new figure of the environment. This is how you recognize each other in a space, even though you take shape of the new environment. This is the beauty of understanding the total knowledge. It means, when we meet a soul which is created in the dimension fields of the amino acid of the planet, even though it does not carry any of its physicality, because we carry the same, we see the feature of the man on Earth. We see the soul in the manifestation of physicality. But from somebody who stands outside, we'll see the dimension of both of us in the feature of what we decided to be. This changes the game. This changes the game for those who have the potential to see On the street, you walk a black man, you walk past a white man, you pass any other color, shape. But, if you are from Earth, you know he's from Earth. And the other one is not from this planet. Because you see the soul of the man in the way that you have manifested yourself in. And the same with him. This is how, in the space, we recognize each other. And, for those of you who are educated in the knowledge of Universe, you can see. Many of these entities, when you go into space, carry no skeleton, because the dimension of the fields does not support. But to you and me, we look humans. Now you have seen the reason and the position. Man has to come to become intelligent, to understand the process of creation. This is the same. We understand the process. Now we have to comprehend the process. Now, with this, it puts away the fear of death in space. We never die. We transform according to the existence, confirmation of the position of our physicality, in respect to the gravitational magnetic field of the environment. Then we understand, where we see the small magnet, does not need to be a planet. It can be a field, which has not 
transferred or transformed to become an entity at the strength of our line of observation. Then you understand that in a space, we do not need planet to manifest ourselves. This is what we understand. Some of this microphone is open in the background, please. Now we understand that the whole process of creation is position, field, magnetical, gravitational, strength dependent. When you go in a ballroom, and a ballroom is very crowded, you cannot dance walls so openly. You conform to the numbers. If they clear the dance floor, and you can dance the whole dance ball, then you dance different. It's the same with the existence, manifestation of the physicality in the universe. This is what we have to understand. This is how, in teachings, we bring the two dimension of the soul, and the physicality, and the matter state which you used, up to now to confirm, to bring the knowledge together. The soul of the entities in the universe, is all, and they all shine the same. But, of different strength, internal field strength. And when you subject them to another field, we can see their manifestation. This is the same in the space, when we enter a space, we cannot be of the aggression, of warmongering, because to every entity, that has a level of understanding, and a color, and the strength position then we are red long before we reach the gun. This is what will be used in the case of what we explained a few minutes ago in respect to Iran and Saudi Arabia and the Islamic world. The soul of Muhammad counts, not the crown and the seat of kingship or leadership. We show the soul of Muhammad, bless his name, that he rules not them. This is what is important for all of us to understand. It's us who can dictate the environment. And this is what the Keshe Foundation supporters are standing gradually. We are changing the soul of the planet, to our wish. Through us giving from the field of internal life, what we have created ourselves out of, to manifest ourselves. Then, we see, if you push that physical body, can you move that small ring in the middle, towards the soul? The center one. Move it to the black, the big black. It has to move. The soul has to move because it's the wish of our physical soul, which dictates the new environment. Our physical soul does not want to go through the pain of loss, because we feel it. Thank you very much. Our physical body does not want to see another war, and through the strength collectively produce we can move the soul. Be the king, be the president, be any title. Because if you look between the physical entity and the soul of the entity, there is no seat of kingship. There is no seat for the man to sit on. This is what we got to understand. This is what I said in the other teachings, that to help those in disaster, we do not need to be there, to give them feel, the feeling, and the emotion of comfort. So, will be the same in the time of peace. 
we do not need to move quarter million soldiers to push for peace. We move quarter million energies of souls that will move the kings and the leaders. The time of change is a peaceful operation. Not marching on the streets. I can wish and I will achieve. My wish is my command. End of a kingdom is a push of the fields of the soul of a man. This is what we have to understand. Now, if you look at a bigger magnet, and you put it in between the small one and the big medium black one, you will see, bring it in, the same as was before, the same position, now move it back in between, yep, and find a position, find a position which be as before, that it finds balance, yeah, the position of balance, which confirms the physicality. Now, can you get the other little one which you just put away and put it in the center of the big one? Can you get it in? Yep. It'll be very difficult. Let it go. Now, try to see if you can move the two towards the other two. The one we just made. Just try to move it, yep. Now you see. New position, new move. When we add our souls into the soul of the planet, we see the physicality moves. Or, we can the same point, if you create in a position, the soul will move, just move it forward, just carry on moving. That's how easy it is, to get rid of the physicality of the kingship. Even though, the soul of the king will stay. The same with any world leader. This is where, the strength of the new understanding, comes in. We create a new environment, that leads to the creation of new fields. we change the environment of the soul of this planet. Because, we have changed the wishes of the man, in respect to physicality, in respect to the soul of the man. This is the change of the position. This is the change of understanding. This is how, we do not need to do anything, but to add to the soul, this planet in what is missing, which brings you peace, that the soul of the man runs the physicality of the man, in respect of what physicality will manifest itself into. The soul will exist, and then comes conformity to peace, to balance, and this is what, in my teachings in the past, I said, there is something is missing, in the mixture of the, soul of this planet. And now, we can see, it's not zinc. It's the intention of the soul of the man, to replace, that the physicality becomes irrelevant. Every man stands equal in his soul, in respect to the soul of this planet. Then, you can have any shape or form.
then we all understand the manifestation of physicality becomes irrelevant. Because our soul moves within the soul of the structure, not outside affecting the physicality of the structure, which is much easier. When we released the constitution, was for us to be able to explain this. We can move, but if we do, then they said, he said he did. But if we move, we say we did, and we don't. The fear of those who call themselves world leaders, is the loss of their physicality through the control of their soul, for themselves to create a new dimension in manifestation. Not out of the fear of losing, losing their leadership. This is what and how I explain, there shall be no king. Because I know I can touch, reach the physical dimension through the soul, that the soul sees shame to be a leader, to have the physicality in that dimension. The process of manifestation of physicality in the space has to come to the point of satisfaction between the soul and the dimension of manifestation itself in respect to the totality of the environment. At the time of death, the soul of physicality moves within the soul of the man. In a very secret way, in a very hidden way, I have already explained this in one of the papers. When you read the paper again, with a new understanding, you will understand, I have already unraveled this secret in that paper. It's called Inter-Atomic Fusion. Where I say, there is easier to bring an electron into the proton than trying to fuse two neutrons or two plasmas. Because the two are made of the same. In so many ways, at the time of death, if you remove the single black one away, please, Rick, at the time of death, this is our position. Our physical dimension sits, because of its strength, in the center of our soul. In a deep space travel, this is the condition of our existence. We decide when that soul moves out to create the physical manifestation. We, as a soul, in respect to presence of another field, decide if we allow this entity, which is the dimension of our physicality, to move out, to manifest our existence in a physical dimension. In part of my teachings, in past 190 or 200 teachings, I have explained this, where I say that the soul of physicality of the man moves in. It gets absorbed back into the soul of the man, 
that it becomes one. And in that time, it will manifest itself by the dimension and the position of the strength where the soul decides. In so many ways, when we had the small black ring and the other ring, that was the manifestation in confirmation of the existence in the presence of another field. But at the time of the travel, when the man becomes wise to understand, the energy of the physicality will move within the center of the soul of the man. And then, like a birth of the mother, you see the replication of what you see here as a womb of the mother and the soul of the child. There is no difference in different level of existence in the universe. It's the man who has not understood up to now. This is important for us, because the teaching of today opens the door for man how to live and how to manifest itself in the deep space. You can travel from one point on this planet to another, faster with your soul, than your physicality. Even though, because you are in the same environment as Earth, you manifest yourself, you still be yourself. Because the soul travels with that dimension, but the physicality needs that transformation. This goes back to the teaching, what I said last week. And what I said before, properties in New York and Washington, properties in Tokyo, or in Tehran, or anywhere else, will worth nothing, once the man learns the technology and understand how to do it. This is part of the instant transportation. This is a part of being in the soul of another entity, without the entity knowing what the physicality is doing. This is part of totality of controlling one soul in, in respect to its one physicality, but it cannot touch another. Those who came out with the machines to control the mind, now they know the revenge comes from the soul. Those who rape the brain through the physicality will pay back in the same way. We make sure of that. There'll be no blood of them left to repeat the same mistakes, because the soul would not allow it. This is the balance of peace, in respect to understanding the totality of the creation. Even though this knowledge is just the tip of the iceberg of the total knowledge, This teaching was told to Christ, bless his name, but he never shared. But he used for the manifestation of himself on the cross. There is no resurrection, if you understand the process of creation. The whole understanding of the technology is to understand every field can live in peace. If your physical dimension field can live within dimension of your soul, then you understand 
is there a need to move that outside the soul? And then, when it moves, what is the dimension of its understanding of its environment to manifest itself? The soul of the man, once created, stays in balance. And if you understand the dimension of the control between the physicality which is dictated by the soul of the planet or the environment, that you receive as much as you decide to manifest yourself, then the life of the man runs in thousands of years. Is the force of the existence of the soul on this planet to manifest itself in physicality, which gives the man the short term of life, physical life on this planet. And the sooner the man understands this, the sooner he'll operate through his soul than his physicality. Then kingship, leadership, being physically somewhere is irrelevant. This is what in the teachings I explained, that you tracked the physicality into the soul, not the physical body, but the soul of the physicality, into the soul of the man, and then you can manifest yourself anywhere in the universe. This is the structure of what we call a neutron. The neutron inside it has the electron present. It opens up, it lets it out and it closes, then it manifests itself as an atom of hydrogen. Now maybe with this we understand what is in the box as nuclear decay. The energy we see when a neutron opens up to split into a proton and electron, is the opening of the gap for this electron, which is the physical confirmation of manifestation of it, to be released. It doesn't come from chopping another piece itself, because the manifestation of the physicality is already internally within itself. And those of you who understand in the space technology who are working on the fuel, then you understand why you have different hydrogens. Because your neutron comes from different strengths and different sides. For those who work in the space technology launch, it's good for you to understand the totality of the unified field. Read the paper, Unified Field Theory, now that you understand this, and then you understand what needs to be done. The human race has been given the full knowledge of travel into deep space. It's you who's got to decide. You want to walk it, you want to cycle it, you want to go with a car, you decide to go with a jumbo jet, or you travel with a new space knowledge to the soul of the man. None of them are wrong. It depends what gives you the pleasure. It depends how fast you want to reach the point of destination, or you want to enjoy the scenery. This is the addition to the present knowledge. It's nothing from outside. It's something which we already know, now we have to understand it, that we can use it the correct way. <laughs>